Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how The Bachelor could lead more people to get cochlear implants to treat their hearing loss. Coming up. ABC's The Bachelor has now reached its 28th season as eligible bachelors and bachelorettes try to find their true match. If you were watching the season premiere on January 29th, you may have spotted Bachelor contestant Daisy Kent and her cochlear implant. Daisy follows Abigail Herringer as the second contestant to wear cochlear implants on the show. She also follows recent Golden Bachelor lead Gary Turner and several of his suitors who all wore hearing aids. Now, whether you're a fan of romance reality or not, I think we can all agree that it is so refreshing to see such a primetime television show take a common health condition like hearing loss and bring awareness to an entirely new audience of people. But you may be wondering just what a cochlear implant is and how it can help people here. Which is why in today's video, I'll be telling you why you might need a cochlear implant in the first place, what cochlear implants are, and how cochlear implants can help to restore hearing. But before I do that, if you could please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up to help bring videos like these to a wider audience. And if you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. With two leading ladies on The Bachelor wearing cochlear implants, it is natural to be curious about these incredible pieces of technology. But first, just who are they for? In order to be a candidate for a cochlear implant, you have to have a significant amount of hearing loss to the point that traditional hearing aids can no longer provide enough benefit. For Abigail Herringer, she revealed that her hearing loss was caused by a genetic condition called Connexin 26. This condition results in varying levels of hearing loss from mild all the way up to profound. For Abigail, this resulted in profound hearing loss in both ears for which she received her cochlear implant at age two and a half. But Daisy was not born with her hearing loss. Instead, she developed a condition called Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease is a condition characterized by episodes of hearing loss, fullness of the ear, tinnitus, and even vertigo. While symptoms start by being temporary, over time, they can progress and become more permanent. Unfortunately, there is no known way to halt the progression of these symptoms, which can eventually lead to deafness of the affected ear. For Daisy, this condition took the hearing of her right ear, and she underwent cochlear implant surgery in March of 2023, getting it activated the very next month. This makes her a very new cochlear implant recipient, as she has not yet even reached her one-year anniversary with her CI before jumping right into the show. So what exactly is a cochlear implant? A cochlear implant is a remarkable piece of technology made up of both internal and external components. The internal components placed during surgery consist of an internal magnet and an electrode array. The external components are worn above and behind the ear, including the sound processor and the matching magnet. Sound and speech is collected by the sound processor and turned into a unique pattern to be sent to the electrode array in the cochlea, your hearing organ. This information transfer from the external components to the internal components is powered by the connection between the outside and inside magnet. The electrode array receives the pattern of sounds collected by the processor and stimulates the corresponding pitches in the cochlea. This stimulation is transferred to the auditory nerve, where it then travels to the brain, allowing you to hear. The cochlear implant process begins with extensive testing to confirm that you're a good candidate and clearance from a neurotologist who will be the one completing the surgery. After allowing the surgical site to heal for about one month after surgery, the cochlear implant is then activated and programmed over several sessions by an audiologist. In fact, Daisy has been documenting her entire cochlear implant process over on her own TikTok page, but you can check out this video of her getting her cochlear implant activated for the very first time. And so right now it's going through the phone, but if you okay, go yeah. here and do hearing device, are you hearing it ringing? Oh, yeah. Does it sound normal? Hi. Yeah, I can hear <laughs> Can you understand him? Yeah, he said, how are you? Okay. You sound like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds like literally exactly like if you put like an alien filter on your mouth. But I can understand words. 
Now, your hearing after cochlear implant surgery is not perfect right away. Hearing with a cochlear implant takes a significant amount of patience and persistence to get the programming just right and you gotta remain consistent with its use. But the results can be remarkable. In fact, I once had a patient go from 8% word understanding to over 88% word understanding just a little over a year after getting implanted. That being said, it was a no surprise that Daisy expressed having some challenges hearing well on that first night in the mansion with her CI, as there were tons of surrounding conversations, a lot of background noise, and a lot of echo. Luckily, both Daisy and Abigail continue to share the realities of their own hearing loss journeys over on TikTok. Daisy recently posted several positive updates regarding the continued improvement in her hearing and using a CI. And Abigail continues her Hear Me Out series talking about all different aspects of hearing loss when it comes to dating, working, and more. While reality TV may not be your cup of tea, it is playing a very important role right now in putting the spotlight on discussions about hearing loss and helping to normalize this very common health condition. It takes a lot of bravery to talk about hearing loss on such a large and typically judgmental platform. And this can only lead to more open conversations about hearing loss between loved ones who are watching. If you or someone you love wants to know if they are candidate for a cochlear implant, be sure to check out our videos that will be linked in the description below and schedule a comprehensive hearing evaluation with an audiologist to discuss your options. And if you already know you're a potential cochlear implant candidate and you live in the United States, then you can check out any of the three cochlear implant manufacturers websites that will also be linked in the description below for more information.